Good morning. Well, today is Nick and Cameron's last day. And you know what? We smashed out so much clearance around the chateau. It looks completely different now. So clear. So we didn't manage to get the beams this morning, which is a bit annoying, but I can get them first thing Monday and we can crack on with that. So we're going to spend a bit of time doing the cement work. You know, everything's stable, just prepped for the floor.
that I know I've said it before, there is something about freshly painted, nice straight steel that just transforms this place. It's so satisfying to look at. So Nick and Cameron have just left. They've been here for two weeks this time. And like the whole aim of this two weeks was to get the grounds clear. So we've been clearing out rooms and we've been scraping back from the chateau and, you know, doing all sorts of tree clearance. And that's created these mounds all over the grounds. So the aim was to get rid of them. And now it is clear from the chateau all around and all the way to the game. It looks like, well, let's go see. It's kind of like super hard to give you a good perspective of it. Maybe I can get the drone out another day, but you know, here was where this big burn pile was and that hasn't been clear, well, from day one, because you know, there's always stuff being put here. And just we've cut everything, Nick landscaped everything as well. Let's show you the yurt. So this whole area, Nick's landscaped it all down, nice smooth slopes. And this centre bit is where the yurt's going to sit, which obviously there's not enough gravel. There's not even like, I don't know, a quarter of enough gravel. So I've got a big 10 ton truck coming Monday to dump a load more gravel. And that should be enough for the base. Then basically I've got like a week to build that base as well as doing some other bits in the chateau. And then the yurt comes. It's getting installed for me. I'm not trusted with that bit we did we thought about it but no so that's going to be exciting to be on site in a proper proper way and it's just the most amazing setting as well oh yeah i haven't really shown you the car park area yet so it's looking a lot more like car parky you know this is where we've been dumping all the debris and the waste from scraping back from the chateau and the rubble and stuff like that and we've built this area up and this is going to form a big car park at the moment it's actually quite big at the moment we've still got gravel and stuff to put over this but there's so much more to come out of the chateau that we're going to just keep extending it and extending it and just flattening off getting a little plateau which means we can have a lot of cars and vehicles and tractors and mowers and stuff can all be parked in this area away from the chateau. I feel a little bit, I don't know, I feel a little bit guilty over the last few days. Like I haven't done very much, but we spent a lot of time planning. There's been a lot of organising for this year to go up as well. That's taken actually quite a bit of my time. And me and Nick have just been planning as we're going along the next stages. So there's a big, big planting scheme happening here as soon as autumn hits. And we've got plans for, well... The plans are crazy for this bit in terms of landscaping with little rivers and stuff like that. And I'll talk more through that when we've got it all planned out, you know. But yeah, we've just been spending a lot of time doing that. And yeah, sometimes you need that bit of time to just catch up and plan and get things together. But hopefully by next week, the base of the yurt will be in and that second floor will be in and... By the end of next week, I should have a proper scaffolding tower, a proper non-wobbly tower that reaches the very top of the chateau, the top of the turret. And that's quite an exciting thing. So I will see you all tomorrow.